got players who are no stranger to the major stage, no stranger to lifting trophies across the globe, and now Complexity start their fist bumps as they have one shot to take it in two versus FaZe Clan. Send them home and send them back to the drawing board or FaZe looking to reverse sweep to just stabilize here in Katowice. Back to your casters though. Henry, Matt, make sense of this one. Map two. Absolutely right. FaZe Clan one away from going home. Complexity shocking us all on cash. It was their map choice, but no stranger to FaZe on that map either. So no excuses to be had when you just get absolutely wrecked as they did. Complexity sat on the CT side here. It'll be FaZe Clan with some smokes towards the A side of the map. The bomb currently by the ramp itself. It's Nika going to the P250. He has no armor on it. Looking for the one taps here. Getting dangerously close towards Death's head, but he'll find the headshot first. It's going to be a five on four. They got the split here and sent three players through the connector. It's Guardian now with the bomb at A ramp. He goes down in a lot of trouble. Guardian trying to get the shots in. Spot out the headshot behind the box, but Rain will follow in from Connector. Guardian does get it eventually, actually. Through the edge of the box gets Def. Nothing in the same position, but not ready for the fact that they're already on top of the stairs. And a Jiren with the kill. That falls on Shazam. They check Shadow, they absolutely will. Rain makes no mistake of it. Damage done to Guardian, but only just. He goes down to 65. This is starting to become, okay, a little better. I was going to say a little bit... More encouraging from FaZe, because they were winning out the duels, they were checking the corners, it looks systematic, but it's still down to a two-on-two. Two. Shazam, excuse me, Stanislaw, rather, on one HP. No kit for either players. So they've got to go a little bit quickly here. And they'll have to play one for information. This is perfect for Moloff, he's in behind him. They're not going to consider it, are they? Ricky already looks, dagged up, downed, one HP on Stan. Pretty much round over at this point for FaZe. Just hit the shots, that might help, but one nothing in their favor. Absolutely true, map. It was Death that opened things up. He took down Nico there, and Guardian recovered the P250. He was the only player at the A round. He had the bomb as well, while three teammates on a connector. If Guardian goes down, the round is lost. But he manages to hold his nerve. He answers back for quick kill, and at that point, is picking them off one by one. There was a moment there where the CTs came back to life. Ricky found a nice headshot. Stanislaw chimed in as well, but he was taken down to one HP. There wasn't really much chance of him actually doing much of that at all, and without the kits, that was absolutely confirmed. Nice shot from Ricky. But once the bomb was down, they really struggled. As now, it will be the force by once again. Complexity with the scouts, the CZs, and MP9 for nothing. Performed very well on the first map of cash. Now this does go down, map. If Complexity do find a 2-0, you'll be witnessing history here. It'll be the first time ever Olaf Meister has not made it to the round of eight at a major. And he's the last player standing that has done that at every single major. He is the last living legend, shall we say. Indeed. Be rush, brave call from FaZe, but it's working. Death's ready for it. Double smoke down arch. He wants to get a shot through window, but is also fully aware of the fact that they're gonna be over to the door as left as well. Very likely to flash into that position. Nico, he's gonna swing. Doesn't get the kill. Good damage. Doesn't need to overcommit to the fight, though. He's aware of that. But the bomb plant in position four alive on either side. It looks as though they're gonna rotate out with the low HP from kitchen, and it might just be the call to save it. On the CTs, the fact that they forced in, they won't be able to buy in the next round. You've got armor for four players, you still have a scout, you still have an MP9. Make good of them in the next round instead. Spot on. That's what they have to do. Like I said, base clan could have run into the full stack there, but they, they made sure they had utility down. They've got very capable players here. Stan's probably going to be dropped at this point. He gets one, does he want to get out of there? Didn't really have the time to do so. Nothing gets through. They get all five at this stage. They're going to have AKs now. There's actually a chance. They might consider buying into this now. That happened very quickly, did it not? Wow. Yeah. Nothing got that AK. The so, ball went off, it went right toward him. He already got the kill. It was perfect. If I'm complexity Great. now, I'm calling a timeout. At least discuss the option. There's nothing with those two kills. He actually sits on 4K now. He has an AK in hand. They took all five of the FaZe Clan down. They're not going to commit to him. But there was certainly an option to consider that position. But, sir. Uh, and it's going to be... Nothing's brought himself back down level money with everyone else, so at least they'll be similar. Good shot at Dren to start it off. That's gone. That was straight through A-Main when he was crossing over toward Connector. But just to note, nothing sits on 24. He's gone for Nade, so they have some defensive utility, but they don't have armor on Stan or Shazam, who's got the scout. AK worth saving. Again, can't buy that on the CT side for those of you who may be newer to the game. 
So it may be an early call from Jordan this round as well, but he is the one that's aggressive toward A, and usually that always comes to a point of contact. He'll be in a fight at some point this round. Let's see how it goes for him, because Smoke down A main, he's trying to buy space to look connector, but Ricky's already been downed as well. You can see him backing away at this point. He knows he needs to hold on to this weapon, as they should be looking to save at this stage. It's Stanislaw, just the USP. But I like this from FaZe. They're not overcommitting. They're not taking any chances. They'll hold up and see where the CTs will push. They'll have to get information eventually. Nico scrambles to get the kill towards Shaw, but he'll find it. Shazam, nice work with the scout. Surely doesn't have anything to say, as he does get another tag there and a second frag. Versus two, nothing alive with the incendiary. There could be something going on here. Goes down to the two on two. Wonderful shot from Jordan, and it's a dren now with rain. They've got to make their way towards B. There's no chance to go back here with 30 seconds. They're going to have to commit, and nothing's there. He could actually win this round. He's got an incendiary as well. He drops that now. He'll delay them. This is unbelievable that it's come to a two on two at all. The fact that the AK is so relevant, Shazam's rotating. Here's the ball down. Spotted. He went early. He still gets the kill. Sprays in, commits to it. Shazam shows up from Catwalk, and it is going to be complexity stealing it back. That's just phenomenal work. I'm really enjoying what nothing's bringing to the table right now. Like you said, an absolute veteran of the game. He's playing for over a decade now, and he manages to read the push towards the B side of the map. But Shazam, he needs a mention as well. His scout play for this tournament has been fantastic. He nails the first of a headshot, follows it up with a wall bang towards Guardian there, funnels him back towards B. Nothing is waiting. He had the incendiary, but he wanted to go with the sneaky approach there. Sits behind the bench, knowing the timer was low. He nails the first shot, and his teammate arrives just in the nick of time before it goes down to the 1v1 and they steal that round away it is going to be 2-1 with a pretty harsh reset towards phase as well remember the round they won before all five players went down pressure getting to them now and not looking their usual selves Nico's force bought the deagle armor same story for Raymond he's got the CZ they get a couple of smokes here Guardian can't really join them in the investment because he needs to have that orb going forward I say that he has gone for it he's gone for the CZ armor right at the last few seconds so all or nothing at this stage, FaZe with one smoke, a couple of flashes. They've already deployed one smoke towards middle, I believe. Goes in the window. So how do they make this work? Need a one dig at least, just to kick the round off before they can even quote unquote execute anyway. They've got one smoke and a flash, not really like they could do much with it. Guardian with a quick flash out in mid. Smoke already down on Cat. They'll walk out from the underpass. The one inside of the window has dissolved. See if they can try and elevate themselves inside of it. They do have nothing in connector, but no one in the ladder room or the window room itself. So this could be an exploitation in which Rain takes full advantage of the map. And nothing? I don't think he's aware of the possibilities. He's down behind the time. Considered looking at it yet as he walks out. Oh, Rain, he had the headshot lined up. Surely you would have expected it. Shazam's going to add to the tally by taking down Nico. What a that dink. Like, no <laughs> like damage, by the way. Seven damage with two shots, one of them being a dink. Pistols at that range of the box, I suppose. Def's inside fire. They do know he's there. He's making himself a bit of a target by firing off. But Ricky has gotten a Dren and Olaf and Guardian left. You saw that round build up. It looked like Rain had made the perfect play. He gets behind them, but it's nothing without awareness. Who checks it at the last possible moment? He gets that kill. If he goes down there, Rain gets an AK. He's got players not looking at him. He maybe gets two or three from that, but nothing saves the day. As you pointed out, middle not really being covered. Nothing focusing connector, but it all works out in the end, and they've got phase down to a full eco. They didn't get a single kill out of that. And now that's Something to talk about here, the force buy. What were you planning on doing? We have two smokes and deagle armor. Unless you get a bit more than that, it's always going to be a very, very difficult round to win. Relying on the individual skill, which FaZe have in buckets and spades, absolutely. But we just haven't seen that level of play from them today. Locks across the board here. Nothing invested in round number five. Complexity take the lead at this point. If you are just joining us, yes, Complexity took the first map against FaZe. It was cash, their pick. A resounding victory is 16 to 8. And now, FaZe Clan, on their map, Mirage. But it's not like it's a bogey pick or anything like that. Everyone plays this map. We heard from Stan himself. They've done their homework. And I was thoroughly impressed with their t shot approach on Cash. Keeping it simple. Sticking to the core fundamentals of Counter-Strike. And can't really argue with that at all. That's all they have to do. They're a relatively new roster with stand-ins, essentially. Come dead last of the two tournaments they've played out this year. But now, this could be one of the most significant victories 
of the tournament so far to knock out FaZe if they can pull off a second map. Og on the balcony. Be nice to see Ricky get a big spray down here, get him fired up. He's got this alternate approach. He's going to be very passive, efficient. Backs them into his teammates. And that crossfire already spread up. You're right. Be great for Ricky to do that to get his confidence, get his blood flowing, but at the same time, discipline and tactics also win, and that's oh, a smart yes. decision. Absolutely. 3 2. No AWP available for Guardian. He'll have to go down to the AK once more. He actually doesn't have a helmet either, so it's going to be another very difficult round for FaZe to penetrate the defense because they only have a couple of Molotovs. They have five smokes, but lacking flashbangs as well. Great HE does a ton of damage. And Stan has certainly been the MVP of this tournament so far. Complexity, such a dangerous player. The in game leader as well. He's done his homework and. This just seems so calm under pressure as well. You don't really ever see him blink. Stan, good hold. Rain walks straight through it. Flash wasn't anywhere nearby. They might get a good turn here. A bit risky from Stan. He thought he could get away with spraying in. He got no damage applied to the other players. And he goes down to 34. You're right, they could have got him back. What it does do is exactly this. Unfortunately, the smoke hasn't dissipated fast enough for Jordan. Because if he had slipped in as they were all looking on Cat and spraying at him, yeah. he might have got a free one. You're right. Man advantage for complexity. It's rain has gone down. Nico has connect and control. Confirms it with the smoke. I think though, if he gets flashed in here, could be a chance to swing out, but might as well maintain the advantage. Just point out Def's position as well on this. He's got the front of A covered off quite comfortably. I'm taking away. Only real estate they have is connector right now. They're gonna rotate the bomb through T spawn towards A ram. They will finish at A here. Death falls back somewhat. Interestingly he's not I would have thought it maybe he considers trying to get palace as well with no information of anyone outside A main because then he can actually control the peak yeah. and fully anchor the site. Whereas A main you're pretty much a one and done but he's elected to back it off, stay efficient. The problem is Nico. He's sneaking in from Yeah. I think Death goes down here. He That's does it. spot him. I thought he was going to look and wait for flashes coming over. I thought he was going to be set and ready to take the fight in front of him, which he's going to do now. Adren's won it out. Nothing's got the shot back on Guardian, but Adren doubles down and finds Shazam as well. 12 seconds and they have to cross. No utility in front of nothing to do it. Low HP as well. Olaf. He's the one with the ball, but he makes it. He just barely makes it, and Adren triples up. He's got a third, and the bomb gets planted as a result. All to play for now. Equal situation, two on two. All off slow, so Stan. No grenades on the CT side. They're going to have to take the straight up jewels here. Adren caught out. All off Mice is still on the side here. Can he get one? Probably get Stan, but the trade will surely come through. Ricky trying to separate them here. Can't get the first, and it's FaZe finally showing us that individual form that had to stand up at this stage, and it's going to be Adren with three kills, opening up the opportunity and closing it down as well. And it will be 3 3. Orbs coming out though, a double orb set up on the CT side for complexity and a round where FaZe looked like they were done for. He pulls it right back, this man in the screen right here. And just by getting in that battle with nothing, he forced him to reload. And that was the exact moment that Olaf crossed. Olaf had 12 HP in the bomb and there was about 10 seconds left. Yeah. That would have been the round. Great work from Adren, but that small detail itself can't go unnoticed. Oh, an aggressive push here. It's going to be Ricky leading the charge. He's got the Orc, and they're going to get the out of the battle. They've been spotted here, but they get the first kill. Nico is always such a menace in this spot. Bomb's gone down, though. It's at the A ramp, and the CTs have smoked it off. Guardian, 16 HP, but he does pull a kill back. They need to clear Rain, because Def's kind of trapped between them. The fact that Rain, okay, he got one, but he's gone down. Def now can play the backside of the smoke. Two on two. He knows the bomb's there. It's not really in a position that they can secure. It's not like they can win out of the angles. It's so tradable to try and play that aggressively. So I'm surprised to see a death actually going back for it as a result of that. This seems somewhat predictable. If he goes any further than this, then yes, they're waiting for him to push right now. Gets himself back in this flower pot position. All of Mice is going to throw in a flash at least. It's actually the smoke so they can grab the bomb and move out. But Stan's come back in. Def's made the call he wants to stay aggressive on it, so Stan's come back around. He knows they're going to grab the bomb and disappear. They could chase this. They could actually just predict that they're going with it. Problem is, how quickly can they get on their heels because they're going to hear them coming. They're posted, they're ready, but it's a fight in T spawn over the round, and Stan gets both. Unbelievable scenes here. Complexity. It looked like they've been done with the smoke on the bomb. They steal it away, but they hear the footsteps. Phase ball, they've made 
a big enough gap between the two groups to actually start knifing out, running away, and Stanislaw punishes them both. Great shot on the second as well. Guardian has dropped it as a full reset. $1,400 per player on the face side. They have no cash to invest into this. All of $1,400. Adren 2,000, Rain 2,000. They're going to have to take a full eco here. One Deagle, make it two. No armor, no nades. Complexity looking to extend their lead here. Shazam with a fast reaction finds Rain midair. Oh! Finds Nico standing there. It's now two for him. And Ricky gets aggressive inside of the B apartments as well with Stan back on the secondary op on the balcony. Even if Stan gets information, this is a perfect setup. Yeah, this couldn't be better for him. They're heading towards B. Stan probably hits at least one of these. Even if he doesn't, he's baited his teammate perfectly. They're not gonna guess that Ricky's waiting around the corner. Guardian goes down to 1 HP, the bomb's down. If they get one kill out of this, it'll be a success at this point. Full eco has found nothing. Ricky needs to be careful though, he throws a grenade, Guardian surely swings. Sitting in the corner for now, 1 HP to his name and Stan gets him through the wall. Nicely done. Very nicely done. Five players staying alive yet again for complexity, they now sit. They can't buy again. Just to... On the, yeah, on the phase side, absolutely, yeah. for the complexity side, they've got a round in hand, so... They're sitting pretty at 5-3 in favor of them on the CT side. Map two, FaZe lose this map, they're gone. That would be so far the biggest knockout. G2 short, there's some big names on that team, but they aren't functioning in the same way that we would expect them to. FaZe, they have been, this would be huge. I said they couldn't buy on the basis they wouldn't have any grenades. They have two smokes and a Molotov here. Five players outside the A bomb site. Not enough skill to make this work, but they have nothing to actually shut down the ore potential. Luckily, Olaf Meister is back with one kill towards the palace. Have they got anything else left? Apparently so. They actually have the advantage now. Can the bomb get planted? Smokes are perfectly placed and time enough to cross to get bomb in, but Molotov on the site. Guardian takes damage from it. Nothing. Can't get flashed yet. Ricky doesn't have one to throw for him. Smoke's now gone. Ricky does have a smoke for the post plant. So too does Stanislaw if they try and force off the issue. It's all about Ricky at this point to get to CT. Guardian's hesitant. He does not want to plant. And if he gets there in time, if Ricky gets toward the stairs in time, he'll catch him trying to go default. Thank you, Midsight Smoke. Rain's been hit. Stan's going to follow it up. Guardian responds. That means he's still not planting. The Midsight Smoke's his only chance to do so because Ricky's slowly wrapping around. If they don't go for this, they're going to be sitting targets in the site. And they'll finally get in position to do so outside of default box. But even then, oh, Ricky was in fine prime real estate. It's the AWP giving up his position. An age should get rain. Can he follow it? If he hit the close shot on top of that, that would have been amazing. Instead, though, it's Guardian to hold on for phase. They find number four. They had almost nothing to work with there. Phase with AKs and a couple of smokes. They decide to try and their luck towards the A side of the map. It gets very awkward pretty quickly. They start losing frags. It goes down to an equal situation. They have nothing to actually get that bomb down, but they were patient. They didn't panic. And they're relying on the individual skill to carry them through. And finally, it delivers. Rain with fantastic shots towards spawn. Keeps them in the round. It goes down to the two versus one. I feel like Ricky really had a chance then to actually get that initial kill. Couldn't quite hit it. They still have another buy here, though. But compromise is being made now. MP9 for death. For mass for Ricky. Nothing still has the org. It's another A side attack from FaZe. Going for the exact same smokes and got to fully commit on this. Couple shots from nothing already in the AUG. Sendieri down, they're gonna boost Shazam. This is actually very clever. You've got stairs right beside you, so why would you need this boost? Because it puts you in between the two smokes. It gives you just enough vision to see inside of the site. Timer on it because the smoke below is going to dissolve, dissipate, fade away. They're saving, I think. They may consider it. It's an interesting call, but they are about to be broken and it's still a tie game. There's no need to give it away, Guardian. Great shot, that should confirm it. I say that, Guardian, he's gonna get another. They're still giving this a chance. I don't think it's worth it at this stage. You've got almost no time to kill five players. And if you Stan, not expected to be there. Adren thought he for sure heard them running away. There was still one, so... Oh, he wanted that AUG. Couldn't get it. Still get out. Three alive. Well, Four right. survive for FaZe, though, for two rounds in a row, just to note. So money starts to uh, amass within them. Well, nothing gets the AWP. That's some good news there for Complexity. Felt oh, like getting out of there as soon as the bomb went down was probably the correct call, but stayed a bit longer. And this Guardian, the punishes. Starting to get warmed up now, perhaps, as he hits some remarkable shots there. Timeout called. This time by Complexity. They have the AWP. 
from us and M4. Could have had two more weapons if they were a little bit more disciplined, but Faye still have a lot of work to do here. Has not been a convincing half. Yeah, Kyo trying to rally them up again. 5-5 five, five, though on T side, not the worst thing in the world. This is certainly a game that they're in, but there's been a few rounds that make me question that. Rather different emotion on the other side for Warden. He is a bleeds red, I mean all humans do, but bleeds complexity red, Warden. He's been there for so long. I don't bleed red. It's green. <laughs> I put it in my launch options. Like Flubber. Comes out. Either way. MP9 for nothing. They have four sport into this. Around what they saved. Deagle for Ricky. Very difficult round for them to win, but the Orpa Shazam has been powerful throughout the tournament. He's currently making his way back towards CT spawn. Check the middle of the start. This time not an execution. Most of the firepower towards the B side of the map as they boost Rain up once again. He goes all the way around this time with an AK. It was CZ last time. In fact, he's going to go through the fence. He's easily got to kill on Shazam. They know he's there now, but that puts a wrench in the system. Death, just to know, is in T-spawn. Problem with losing Shazam on that that early is that mid's wide open and they can rotate back through connector, but Def's going to try and beat them to that. Nico's ready for this. Yeah, and Def only has the FAMAS. There's no way he's winning this duel. If Nico turns this right, it's guaranteed a frag. There it is. Rain follows it on to nothing, so this looks much better for FaZe now. They're taking into consideration the way that Complexity has been playing, and certainly Def's been aggressive over toward A, so good hold from Nico. The fact that Shazam was also rotating out of A so quickly and got caught by Rain suggests, hang on, why is he rotating? They must have information somewhere. So wait for the man that was getting it for them. Stan, can he go back? Good shot, but he's in a one on five. Make it four, six HP. He's going down and phase back into the lead. Looking a lot more comfortable now. It's not as rigid. They're actually finding some good picks. Exploiting lack of presence towards that window area seems to be a bit of a problem for the CTs. The fact that Rain can get rid of Ven and catch Shazam rotating is a bit of a nightmare for them. But remember, Complexity came into that round with the FAMAS, the Deagle, the MP9. Certainly wasn't a full buy. The money's not awful. They'll have everything they need into the next round. When they go back to that double orb setup. Currently status law 15 and 5 at the very top of the scoreboard. Top for phase is Adrenaline Rain. They've both got eight kills. Starting to look more efficient though. Starting to see some of that individual brilliance from them. Guardians orb shots are landing. Maybe the crisis will be averted and they can take this to a third. Full eco for now. Complexity will stack the A bomb site. This oh, Molotov dear. that doesn't really matter. I know all that, but they don't know that. <laughs> He's mad about it. He's like, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to shoot the wall, guys. <laughs> I'll get him one way or another. Nothing going around with the pistol. Again, they want to push. This one's cheeky, but it's a. Yeah, he's dead no matter what, because here comes the palace re-entrance, and Adren gets the kill, but it's at least one down for the pistols, that's a start, and Death's gonna take the invitation. Palace repush means they can slide out, now he's spotted, unfortunately, by Adren, who comes to the gap in time. Death, though, not making it easy. Unfortunately, the AK does, it fires through the edge of the wall. Last bullet of the AK gets the headshot. That's true, he gets forced kill. into the reload there, that would've been a huge problem. Yeah, one bullet away from another kill. Going dry mode to be. A few shots, takes out the window, didn't see anyone. They let him go by. <laughs> they were hoping that he commits towards the site, perhaps, but he just sneaks through and confirms that B might not be clear. I'm not sure what Intel yeah, gets from that. Get from B. That. And, that was uh, really bizarre, and he's run all the way around. They're not at A either, so where are they? It's a bit of a lackluster job, but it'll work out for them. Hey, we've all fancy meeting you here. We're <laughs> Did you see any of the other guys by chance? It was the bully for complexity. They get one kill, maybe a second here. Absolutely, they can save the AK. That's not bad. Stan. Look at the assist there. It's Shazam actually found the frag. An AK. It's very valuable for the next round. Let's see if they can get another one. Sam sneaking, you're right, they could try and find this. Ricky just holds him up a little bit, that gives Shazam the chance. That's not gonna work at that range, Ricky. It's ambitious, to say the least. This is back up for it, but it 
It's going to be phased now with seven. Again, taking the lead on Mirage T side looks good for them. And they break the money down, they start to get control. That's the big thing. They look in control finally in this series. Yeah, I absolutely agree. They are going to go back to that double orb setup. Nothing has handed the AK-47, saved by Stan. Haven't seen too much wild aggression on the CT side. Don't want to mix things up at all. They want to take a pause. Not as happy with the way things are right now. 7-5 down on the CT side, not ideal. Lost a pistol, remember. And nothing. Flash towards top of mid. Three players there waiting for him. Shazam had an opportunity there before the smoke came in. Can't land a shot, but does get information that a few players are there towards mid. Open window. Shazam's eating it. Bullets doing the damage for the splinters themselves as they were firing into it, and he waited on the other side. Smoke goes down on connector. Rain tries to fire into that too. Still clear the angle, and Nico does the same by seeing above it from Catwalk. Meanwhile, that means mid controlled. Bomb is still down at the top of it, so they can't fully commit to anything at this point. But they're getting a ton of map control, including the ladder room now for Nico. Yeah, still plenty of time available to them as well. Decent rail on the state. Three does down the map, granted, and it will be Stan though. Going towards B. He's got all off. He comes around the corner. Actually, shoulder baits it nicely, so Stan's forced to use the smoke and get the hell out of there. He can certainly uh, do it. He's stuck in no, there. He's flashed. No. And he goes down. That's unfortunate. He tripped up over the bench, or the couch, and then got flashed. That was actually very unfortunate. Didn't look like that was even going to happen, and then as soon as he lost his vision, he was just done for. Yeah, the flashbang Molotov combo can be a brutal one. Adren flashed in. It's by Guardian, just to note, so he's the second player over toward it. Death he wants to go against this. Inside of the smoke, Adren just sprays in. No more glitch, no more spotting. Just hoping to get lucky on that, and they know Death's been aggressive. They know he's been very aggressive. He might get a chance to get in on the reload. He has. He's got to the corner, and Adren's not ready for it. He'll back off as well. Meanwhile, Nico again. This time, is he going to check all the corners? Doesn't matter. They're already in from balcony as well. They've got the B site. Yeah, complexity convinced it was going to be an A-side attack. There was no time remaining. It was at the 10-second mark that they were still getting attention towards that A-ramp. And this has to be the save. You can't go for this if you're complexity. It would cost you absolutely everything. You've got no leftover cash here. Sure, you've got four players alive, but there's almost zero chance you retake it at this point. You've got to go through the kitchen, which is full of flames and smoke. And it's better off just to hold on to the AWP especially. Stan had one as well, but that's not recoverable. Remember, he went down in those B apartments at the start of the round. Nice angle from him. But it was Olaf Meister that shoulder baited the shot. Molotov them out of position, and then, unfortunately, getting blind. Stanislaw was dropped. Decided to gamble stack towards A. Will be phase confirming the half victory at least. They've got eight on the board here. The four players survive complexity. They have enough to get a rifle in the hands of Stan here. Nothing could drop a secondary orb. He actually has 6k cash right now. So that's the flashback that gets him. He hits the sofa. Almost made it out, but the last tick gets him. Frustrating one to concede. I'll take a timeout from it. Looks to be more technical to me, the fact the admins come over. Yeah, it might be the case. The fact that they're going to dig in and try and... Resolve the issue. So complexity for the first time trailing by a decent margin. Three rounds first half, CT side, and they've got the money to work with. Stan, not so much, but they've got the op already out. They've got an AK, they got two augs, so he'll certainly bring something to go with that, and they can drop him. Nothing could certainly drop him. T side so far, working out very nicely for FaZe. They've got enough rounds already. They can get double digits and find that 10-5. I'd say this one's confirmed for them. It's Def that's dropped off somewhat. He's on four and six right now after having a fantastic showing on cash. Stanislaw's still on 15 kills. About three rounds ago, he said he got there. So FaZe have worked out how to craft a victory here on Mirage. This is their map pick. And we keep things off in cash. That's where Complexity wanted to play. As we wait for this small issue to be resolved. I think it's just a sound problem. Hopefully BB back underway momentarily as Ricky that was devastated by technical issues against NRG. Yes, that is an excellent point. He was in that series, and we thought that was actually going to make things a bit controversial, perhaps problematic. It certainly was for Ricky, but they replaced an SSD, which is not something that normally has to be done, let's be honest. SSDs are pretty reliable. 
So a bit of unlock, a bit of bad luck in that situation, but they went on to win that series, and that's all behind them at this point. We've got Dust Two as the third map. What an explosive affair that's going to be! Brawl, the complexity is hitting shots. That's yeah, that could be perfect for them. It suits Shazam's playstyle down to a T. He will be electric on that map. I'm very excited we get there, which is looking quite likely at this stage. This is a CT-sided map. As we just wait there wait to resume. You know, it's a pretty impressive tournament when even the legend stage just... The legend stage stage. The stage we're actually using is nicer than most of the ones we see yeah. throughout the year. Let's wait till That's we true. get into the Spotic next week. See what the issue is. I don't have too much update for me, but that's okay. Dust 2 next. We're seeing it a lot more this week. Last week it actually wasn't really a talking point. It wasn't really seen at all. That and cash. Well, that, that is a talking point in itself. It's because if you're the favored team, going into a map like Dust 2, it, it can be a little bit difficult to predict. It's loose map. It's based on spawns. If your opposition is having a great day and they're peaking individually, that can be enough to win it. There's nothing too technical about the map. Every team has similar executions, defaults. We all know how it's played out. And like you said, Complexity are keeping up in the fragging department. They could have a shout there. Dust 2 is excellent news for them. Still trying to work out this issue now. Piotr's joining us the second map of this best of three. It's an elimination game as well. It was phased. It just didn't get going at all on the first map. Cash was absolutely disastrous for them. A mixture of over-aggression and incorrect setups. Complexity calling the perfect game certainly didn't help out. We didn't really see much from the individuals in that respect. But now moving on to Mirage, it's looking much better for them. Shiren's got an auto shotgun right now. Um, maybe that's part of the issue. I'm not sure why that's come through. <laughs> yeah, good point. He's going to pull an alu. Yeah. So they are going to resume the match. Let's see if they doctor it with that gun in play. The drop has happened, I can confirm. We mentioned that Stan was not going to buy, but nothing could. It's an op. They're going to go double op setup. Shazam, Stan. They've had death on a secondary op. Yep. Now Stan. Never Ricky. Never Ricky. Not really. Not much. Stan did have it on this map the other day when we saw them as well. That was when we first brought it to sort of our attention and the talking point. I thought it was spawn-based. It's not. Ricky, by the way, he's hit the jump. He is known for good movement. Famous clip of him on cobblestone That's right, yeah. getting up onto the tree from long. That's not an easy jump to do, and it, he did it in a clutch situation as well. He's already up to the top of Catwalk. Meanwhile, Olaf's held at bay by a flames. The flames spewed across the kitchen, and Stan holds the angle as a result. Stan looking for the opening kill here. It's a great position to play as an all-pup. Hold it like a turret. It allows you to have just one anchor in this site. He's getting a ton of information. He can't necessarily be surprised here. He does have backup available to him, but that's going to be in the form of Ricky. Like you said, he's top and middle right now. Guardian waiting for anyone to push around the corner. And they'll make their approach towards middle now. I'm pretty sure Guardian gets this kill. We'll have to see. Keep it with Ricky to swing. It actually will. He gets the first. Can he get out though? No. Tougher ask than you might consider because from underpass, it's where rain shows up. That holds him long enough. Watch the repeat. There's still more presence on Catwalk. Stands there with a second AWP and Rain's walking in between two. He did, and that gives it away. They know exactly where he is. The nade will do damage and he'll get back around the corner, but they can't contain Rain in the same fashion. And importantly, during all of that, the smoke was down at the top of the stairs. Otherwise, death, he absolutely would have peaked against it. Bomb's actually in T spawn right now. They have 25 seconds. They have to finish up towards A. Two players there. Well, make it one now. Death's been dropped by Rain. Shazam has to connect shots here. The first one misses. First one does. Nade goes deep. Shazam didn't fire into it. He might have had a lineup for Tetris and said he wants to sneak in. Is he going to be spotted? He's just under the box. They don't see him this far up, but he can't find the angle. And Nico eventually does track him down. Spray through by a gen. Nothing is gone. It looks like 9 to 5. With very little money left on the CT side, this could be a 10 5 if he's playing half. Stan, <clears throat> fair enough, gets one, but jumping across easily baited out. Yeah. This is the complete opposite scoreline to what we would have had on cash. Or we did have on cash. You're right. There's Rain. Starting to look a lot more comfortable here. 2018, very up and down affair for him, but starting to look sharper as the rounds go by. 
Great awareness, take down death there, just as the smoke goes down. And remember, FaZe have got tons of money here. They can give that kill up at the end. They just want to get the orb out of the hands of the CTs. Regardless, they'll have another four, two of them once again. Nico goes to the initial pick, takes an incendiary to the face, but doesn't do too much damage and get out of there in time. God, he's looking for any jump peaks in B. No one going to be doing that, but there is a Stanislaw waiting at the end. He'll be flashed in, but does he want to take the swing out? Couldn't, couldn't stand. He's got him down. He's going to go aggressive with the AUG as well. Wants more. Molotov, Olaf's inside of it. Stan knows he's locked into the fight. And he turns around and takes it, takes him out of the round completely. Nico and Adren, rain tag to 16. Three ops. Stan switches to one, even though Death and Shazam already have it. He gets off the AUG and elects to hold it. That's kind of an interesting call. I think he would have thrown the AUG out the window behind him at B, so he can rotate back onto it if they execute in his position, but I'm going to hold for now with them. Try and catch the... Oh, good shot. Try and catch them off. Def just removed so easily. Well, they find double digits here. Right now, four versus three. Nico and Rain, for that matter, have found great success with this window boost. This call comes with a stand, though. Could be a good chance of closing out the round. Bomb dropped. Nico's still in position. He'll flash towards Shaw here and try and answer back. Time running out, though, but Adren still fragging hard. Absolutely he is. This comes back level. It's another situation they had to leave, but Stan... Oh, 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 nearly caught out. 15 seconds. Just needs to buy time and space. Doesn't need to get caught at all, but he's done it. He's got it. Starts the round that ends it himself. Brilliantly done with four kills. And they get to a 9-6 scoreline instead of that 10-5, which is certainly more menacing. I absolutely agree. Six rounds in a row for FaZe towards the end of that, but its complexity is still away the last round. 9-6 doesn't sound that promising for them, but they win the pistol, they'll tie things up, and can build upon that money. We'll see what happens here. Complexity on the comeback. We'll be back after this break.
9-6. Great round by Stan to close out the last one. Switching over to a triple op, having taken down Olaf Meister. But it is still phase in the lead, and they swap over to the CT side. The reason I mentioned that sixth round is it might be significant for complexity as they have to claw back into this game. It was their CT side that let them down on cash, and we could see a similar thing here. It's going to be Stanislaw making his way towards the Palace here. They've actually got four players in this position. You do not see this sort of approach too often. I assume they'll bust out together with the armor they've got, probably one flashbang, and see if they can make it work. And it's a bit of a distraction towards B going on as well. And it has kind of worked, because you can see Rain already fading off. Guardian was rotating. He's got back through the vents now. And look how aggressive they go. Spot Nico. That was the goal. That had to be done if he was sat in the corner and then went by. Bloodbath. It is a bloodbath. It's not the one that we might have saw otherwise. Not for FaZe. And Shazam's still rotating back around. They're locked in CT. He's completely surrounded. Adren's going down, and it will be the complexity pistol round that you talked about. Potential to bring this to three. It's not like it used to be. They yes. get the extra bonus. They could elect to go for a full save right now. I would say that's the approach from FaZe here. They have the lead right now. They don't have to win this round. They've got more chance of winning it in the third. Nice spot, though, from Stan. Like we said, a, a pretty unusual approach four towards palace and one faking b but it did work out there's a three-man stack from phase towards the b side of the map just a little bit of presence there one flash a decoy just pushing in was enough to hold them at bay while his teammates did the serious work towards that a bomb site unfortunately for Sam, great flank but didn't really get a chance to show us how strong it could be cts will stack towards the window they spot many players there. the bombs down a t spawn though so it's up to nothing to try and take these kills down they're not going to anytime soon. His death might be dropping this one, but a great shot from him. Gets the dink, and there it is. He will go down. A chance if a phase. They've got an AK. He's got Galil to work with as he works back out. You're right. The AK picked up. One of them is removed. Second one still in play, and Olaf's got the kill down. Nothing. Minute 17. Nothing needs to... Oh, spot Guardian if he doesn't. He could fall, but turns around that fast. Forget reaction time and old age. <laughs> Jordan's still got it. How old is that? He's like, what, 26? He's not Listen, that man, that all right, he's trying to force a narrative on everyone. It's kind of what I do. <laughs> he's not that old. I am old in comparison. But still beautiful. Oh, thank you. All of my stuff still have a chance to win this, but the bomb planted. He has got the smoke. They've done financial damage here. They are buying up next round, remember? So if he doesn't win this, it's a relatively successful round, especially if he saves the AK. That might be the best option at this juncture. We'll see if that's the option it is. Holding onto the smoke and AK. They get three kills. Could have been a bit more, unless nothing on that insane 180 towards the window. Surprised he managed to pull that one off. It looked like they might have been done for at that point. Stack towards the window. That's allowed them to make things uncomfortable for complexity. They didn't save any AKs. I take it back. Nothing did find one at the very end of the round. So they have one AK, one UMP brought over. Faze definitely buying now. They've got an AK. Olaf could drop another rifle if required. Eight to nine. A lot of tension on the Faze side. As I kept mentioning in the first map, it's complexity come into this. Relax. They've done their homework. They're going to play the fundamentals. No one expected them to even have a chance of being phased. They came in with no pressure at all. It's phased are the ones that, if they drop out of this segment of the tournament, it's gonna be a talking point for many, many months. Oh, absolutely. And Adren on a trial period, Yanko as well. What does it mean within the team? Is there more to read into that? So much at stake in the majors. You build around them, you wait, you keep your rosters the core of your rosters together so you can attend them. Everything yeah. is about the majors and teams coming shy when there's so much expectation certainly is cause for concern. Maybe I'll just switch back to an old lineup to try and retain that number one spot. You've got Na'Vi, they're saying that if this doesn't go very well for them, they're already in the playoffs now at least, but what was gonna happen there? But here we are with FaZe facing elimination on this very map, if Complexity can pull this all the way back in their favor. Just one round behind now, 9-8. to eight. And again, they've got weapons. They'll go against the same for FaZe. It all lies on this, really. Complexity give this one away. They're certainly going to be eco after losing three players before. Rain, inquisitive towards the A ramp. Sits in the steps for now. Ricky, though, does suspect something. Keeping his cross at. Firmly placed in that position for any potential pushes here. Rain with 12 kills. He could be flashed over to check it out, but 
I think he would have sold. The hard part is the timing of the switch that are down because if... Ooh, Rain, they flashed him and he went down. I didn't think that was necessary. I was gonna say, if they flashed to get Rain, Guardian could have swung and peeked. He was already retreating and then that's when they decided to go. This is gonna be two kills now for Complexity. Guardian and Nico still alive on the bomb site here. It's not all done. Nico has to make this kill happen though. It's a wall bank, but he does get it. Guardian left on the side, gives his position up. M4 in hand, can he find another? Absolutely he can. Ricky will answer back. He's left on a one versus one against a Dren. 35 seconds remain. He flashes perfectly towards the connector, but doesn't spot him. Pretty remarkable. It's come to a one-on-one -on -one at all, but you consider that Stan also got to CT spawn. He was spotted at Ticket when he got taken down. Ricky goes for the peak. He's lost track of a Dren. And he doesn't need to move much. He can stay in minute. He can rotate. The problem is... I was gonna say, I don't think he needs to go that way. He doesn't have the elevation on the catwalk to see through, but it's confirmed. Planted on A. Ricky's gonna get back towards CT, so he won't be spotted by Adrena. Remember, he's on low HP, 33. And AK will pick that apart, no problem. No kit for Adren. A flash only to work with, and he's made noise. He'll tap and hold. He can still get a 10 second at this point. Ricky's gotta be very careful about how close he walks, but he nails the shot. It's 9 9. Such a crucial round. Ricky is the hero this time. He will tie it up to 9-9. That was a chance of fate to completely dismantle the economy of complexity. But Ricky, a little bit tentative in his approach, but he got the bomb planted, played it safe, manages to hit the all-important shot, and Guardian did everything he could to find those few frags. But Ricky will seal the deal. Timeout called. And complexity have found an equal score and they can actually take the lead here as well. We did say coming into this half map, their CT side is where it started to go horribly wrong. And as we entered cash, they now have no money at all. They're gonna buy though. I'm seeing some purchases. Are they going for the full investment? I just saw a scout brought into the equation. CZ, smoke and HE for rain. Doesn't seem to be getting armor. So I think it's a more conservative approach here. Conservatives, fine at this point. We're still at single digits, potentially down double for complexity. But it's not cause for panic yet. You've got enough experience on phase that they should at least be able to hold their mentality together. Former major winners in both Olaf and Adren. Not Guardian, though, surprisingly. No, he's he's always seems to be the runner-up. Twice with Na'Vi, and once with FaZe in what was one of the most exciting major finals in history against Cloud9. Ricky's already found Rain. That's to start it off. That's a push through. So the pistol's getting aggressive, trying to get the information. Guardian, he still has the scout to work with. Nico's also up behind the smoke at A main, but right now it's Stanislaw. Heading down catwalk with Death. He's underneath. Nothing in the palace, and Ricky will grab the bomb, and they all head that direction. Stanislaw, the in-game leader, one of the main fraggers as well, makes his way towards connector. They already have the man advantage, as he holds the connector now. 50 seconds remain. CT's trying to get any sort of information he can. He smokes out, spots one, and there's the scouted guardian. It's all a ruse, though. They're getting ready to head in towards the Drenz there with the deagle. Can he find the first shot? They're starting to go in one by one. It's getting a little bit awkward for complexity now. They need to get out and crack open this B side, but Adren's doing so much damage with the Deagle. Can he find another one? Surely not. Two bullets left. Shazam. Tagged up. Couldn't find the off shot. It's FaZe that's got the control. Absolutely. Ricky's locked in. Guardian's got it with a scout. This is turned around. This started with pistols. AK picked up. They're going to steal around back, and it's 10 for FaZe. They elect not to buy into it, and they come away with the win. Usually when you watch FaZe play, their games are full of these sort of rounds, right? They're always winning with the Deagles, the Scouts. That's one of the first in memory that I can recall. This is actually going in their favor. This is more like it for them. That's a massive round to pick up. And it's actually broken the money down the complexity as well. They're the ones on the force by this time. FaZe need to hold this one off. CZs, Deagles, some Kevlar as well. They have enough for a very basic approach towards the A site, but they're going to focus towards middle for now. Shazam, surely not going for the one dig against the Orpa. It can happen. Mirage is infamous for it. But it will take something absolutely magical at this stage. I think he's going to challenge him together. They will. Player towards short. That's all off my step. He takes some damage. Didn't deal a lot out. Oh, does get Hello. the angle, but Ricky back with a deagle. He always was good with that. 
Nice headshot on off my step. Just holding a tight angle. And will be taken down. Luckily for the CTs, they can't recover that. Andrew waiting as well toward B. He's got the angle held this time. He's not creeping into it as his teammate in the form of Olaf was, so he should have the advantage here. But that's only if they even go toward him. They're actually going to back off, head toward the underpass. Bomb still T spawn. Shazam's going to grab it now. Nothing. He waits inside of the palace entrance. He's not gone much further, so he'll have to consider some angles on the way through. Loose to window. A passive defensive hold. Guardian and Nico will both be able to respond if they push through the vent, but likewise, Nico's back in CT spawn. It means Rain's the only one with eyes on the A site. Does mean there's no guns inside of the site directly if they get kills. It's not like they can get by this one quickly. Does a potential bomb plant, and she's going to go for that now. Stand still, waiting as well to hold off. Nico and Rain finding kills. One from Shazam in return, but he didn't get the bomb planted, and he has to go aggressive onto Nico in order to do it. He didn't check far enough into the corner. Wants to go now, he will, but he's lost Stan. Guardian got Stan with the AWP pushing through the vent, and you're right. There's no time to plant, which means no money for Shazam. He's got to oh, at least pick up the AK. He will do that. He's got armor already. He's got an AK. The kills he found allows him to get some utility, so it's not the worst. But uh, if you got the bomb down there, actually had a chance to win the round. Overall, 11-9 in favor of FaZe on their CT side of Mirage. They fend off the full investment there, but Shazam will have the only AK. His teammates set around $2,000. They can't really do much with this. Shazam can't even buy grenades. He needs to hold on to the cash. He's the AWPer. And this is where FaZe can really extend their lead. They don't have to go aggressive here. They know it's a massive reset. Just hold up in crossfires. Deny the plan. Death goes under. Nothing's with him. Faze could start to run away now. It's all down. Death's forced off. Has to back away. Faze playing with good intentions at this point. Being very careful about things. They know it rides on the line right now for them and nothing will get dropped. Marginal damage, if any, on Nico. In fact, no, he sits on 100. Didn't even get tagged in the exchange. Shazam, though, comes in with a deagle. Oh, he's actually got the AK, hasn't he? There we go. Could have got a bit more out of that, but Nico still happy to challenge. Looking towards underpass right now. Death sits beneath him. Maybe in more ways than one. He will find the shot, though. It's going to be a five versus three, and Nico is looking active. 21 HP, but he's done his work at this stage. Stand to get the information, and hopefully Shazam can trade off it. Doesn't really fancy it. It is going to be the round confirmed for Fade. They only lose one. Actually, zero. It's Nico that survived. Yep. He gets three. Stuck around about 37 HP. Indeed. Three round lead now as well after complexity. They tied up this game. And it looked like, to be fair, they were going to take the lead at 10-9. There wasn't any guns, if you remember. Indeed. No. FaZe won it to get to 10. It looked like it then might get stolen back. It's been really back and forth, despite the last three rounds going in FaZe's favor. But now it's guns back up for complexity to work with. Shazam's limited to a Galil. One nothing. Let's go. Complexity, and they are trying to force Guardian out of position. He went for the tip classic drop. He's done that in the past. Gap in the smoke. And he managed to get away without being spotted or found. And he's ready for the fight, knowing how aggressive they want it to be. Only one HE remains on the T side in terms of grenades. They've got no smokes, no Molotovs, nothing. It has to come down to raw firepower here. They can feel these rounds slipping away from them. But their point of access is so limited without being able to fend off those choke points. Waiting for mistakes right now. CT's not making any. Good shot from Nico to catch out Shazam. Thought he was being clever with his position, but he just gets enough. And no one in position to really Stan couldn't do it. Gets spotted by Rain. Now the shots are adding up because Adren's got nothing down. 13 looking very, very likely for FaZe. And without a bomb plant. This is only going to be a three, now fourth round bonus. Yeah. And if they don't get a plan here. With 39 scoreline, with an eco coming up next as well. It feels like FaZe can do this quite comfortably now. 
Ricky gets one, edging towards short. That's not going to do enough damage for the kill, but maybe the bullets can. Olaf realizes he doesn't have to be part of that fight. Let's not feed him any opportunities. 20 seconds remain, and Ricky looking towards T spawn. There is a player there. Great shot by him. That's rain going down. Still no closer to winning, unfortunately. At this point, it's all about self preservation. 10 seconds on the clock. Is he just trying to save, or. Looks to be the case. Kedren, right above him, though. He could go down and get no money. He's got to check it. Yep. Ricky's. Oh. oh, didn't check far enough. That gives Ricky another kill, and it's, more importantly, the AK carried over. It means he can buy some grenades, at least, but again, his teammates on $3,000, they'll take a timeout. This is getting to a real scary point for them. With $3,000, that's enough for Deagle's armor, utility. With the Ricky AK, maybe you're considering a execution here. Try and take the snipers out. Nico, much better this round. It's actually Adren at the very top of the scoreboard. About 18 and 16. Nico, 16 and 17. Mirage, a bit of a staple for him. Haven't seen the most out of him yet, but he's getting that. Dust 2 up next. Stanislaw discussing the options here. So they have bought up a little bit. Would not call this a force buy. This would be in the realms of a partial. They'll get five smokes. Upgraded pistols and armor. That one AK, I would suggest some sort of execution comes forward from this. You want to try and get as close to the bomb site as possibly can. And it seems to be heading towards B. Is the orc going to be there? It's actually a dren with his orc. Olaf's going to rotate over me next to him. Give aid to the chase of a dren as he wants to try and push up. Very forward of the smokes. Needs to get the shots hitting, though. Took him a while to find the first one. Nico able to get stand, but now it's on to Olaf on top of the van. So still the man advantage on the phase side, looking for 14 rounds. Off for Guardian. Smoke in front. Didn't know to fire into it. He was hoping that he'll just be able to spot them ever so faintly on the inside of the bars, but now thinks better of his chances should he rotate toward the bench. More aggressive for Grim Missing the shot. Thankfully, Olaf's still down below. He'll mop it up. Oh, I thought that was that moment. He misses the shot. They trade on Olaf, and it could have fallen apart. But they hold strong here. 14-9. So close. The complexity do have enough to actually bring our rifles here. And AWP for Shazam. Last life at this stage. They can find double digits. Get a couple off the back of that. There's still a slight chance, I'd say. It's more realistic for them to maybe plan for overtime at this stage, but we'll see what happens. Shazam will be flashing towards top of middle, allowing Stanislaw to make his way up towards short. There's the flash. I think I go for the run boost here. Send Shazam towards the gap. Gap that Nico, Nico gets full advantage of. It's a great play from him. So that's him dropping the incendiary at the start of the round, blocking the smoke from landing, and it's. All off Meister looks to close this round out. Still a slight chance here in the four versus three. Still a player at the bench, and that's a Dren. Ricky gets it. This gives them the entrance, the explosive entrance that they've been relying on. And it's going to be a full rotation. Guardian goes up the safe way into the vent, not even making that, but that's okay. His teammates able to jump over and catch out Catwalk. All three, same approach. That has trade potential. That is the. Perhaps just enough in it to catch off complexity, especially with rain getting in so far. They're gonna have to react very swiftly to the fact that all three of them are at the arches. Molotovs revealed that they are. Ricky's down already. Good return from nothing. Spots out a second. That should secure the round. Should, but it is Guardian on an AWP, and he's walking in. Oh, Def, I thought gave him a chance. He just barely got there. Ten rounds complexity. With Guardian in that sort of 1v1, you just felt it in you. It was all coming together. He's gonna hit the quick scope, but Def. Closes it out just before that happens. It's nothing though, who does most of the heavy lifting in this particular round. Challenging towards Shaw, fearless. He does damage towards Guardian and sets up death. It is going to be 14-10. Complexity, fending them off. This is the final buy of a phase. If Complexity can find this round, they actually have a fighting chance here. They're going for the 4A execution. This is where phase started to lean towards when things started to go wrong for them. Orb Guardian, of course, and CT spawn. Shadow, they fully commit nothing once again, opening things up. Guardian still waits, so no what? utility in front, but he doesn't hit the shot. That's not characteristic of Guardian at all. That's so strange from both sides. 
And he nearly went down. He's on 15. Money's getting tight on the com or, excuse me, on the face side. You don't have to go for this. It might be worth it to back off. Missing that shot. Yeah, Guardian's way over toward Catwalk already. Adren's backing out. They aren't. They're going to save. So Complexity will find 11. 14-11. Complexity back in control of the economy with this round especially, keeping four players alive, at least for now. Should end that way. They'll start to build up a bit of a bank. And this is far from done. Pressure starting to be applied now. Everyone feeling on the server. Guardian with that shot towards CT, you'd think for him, that's a lock-in. Somehow the team is audacious enough to face that position and live to tell the tale against Guardian, who's ready and waiting with the right angle. Somehow it doesn't connect. But they do say three weapons here. 14-11. Complexity on the T-side of Mirage, pulling this one back round by round. This was the shot. That's where things got a little bit weird. That there, you'd think for him that's just connecting all day long. The fact they even challenged him there with no flashes or smokes towards spawn, I, I'm surprised with, but they pull it off. Yanko giving out the orders at this stage. They are going to build around the AWP and two orgs safe from the previous. They need to be very careful. Every investment is significant at this stage. Once they get the round number 15, they can suddenly experiment with the four spies and the save of the weapons. They're going to bring UMPs in to fill the gaps. They will be in the hands of Adren and Rain. As we enter round number 26 now, it's Death that's a little bit quieter than he was in cash, but he still has time to turn it on. Two rounds in a row, can they make it three? More for Shazam. They'll head towards A once again. Are they going for the same execution? Looks to be that way. Death already in toward A main. Smoke execution should certainly going to be applied. Four smokes already inside of middle, by the way. Stan's moving up on those. AK in hand, he finds a pick. Smokes come raining in from A main. Oh, this could be big. Guardian, he hits death before the smokes land towards CT. In fact, I don't even think there is one at CT. I don't think they've got any left over for it. They didn't throw it early. Nico gets inside a sandwich. Clean the head off of nothing. And he'll nade back inside of the smoke of Palace that's completely hindered. This is the second time we've seen this. Last time it fell apart into a one-on-one. -on -one. Stan inside T-spawn. He's just saying right now, wait, wait, I've got a chance, but Guardian's aware of it. It got a little bit too quiet for him. He realized something wasn't quite right. It's up to Shazam to deliver the goods. Gonna go for the quick scope. It doesn't connect, and that should be the round for phase. It's 15-11. They have to buy. The money's not really there, and the I, very top of the scale is the second time. Sorry, it's the second time Stan's gone there and been and been found. You're right, it is a little too quiet. I think they need to do more to make sure that they aren't considering that. They're almost waiting for Stan, relying on it, rather than trying to give him help doing it. I've, I've been in this position before, though. You feel like the round's falling apart. They haven't committed to the A side yet, and you've got a chance to get behind enemy lines. But yeah, that 10 seconds when nothing's going on, Guardian's always going to consider, right, there's got to be a reason they're not challenging us. Just want to point out Def's scoreline. Great game last time. In fact, leading the way for a lot of it on Dust2. We mentioned he's been very consistent. Only eight kills this game, but seven assists. His ADR is actually higher than Shazam and nothing. If that's to be believed in that, but still. Seven assists. You just can't seem to finish it. Well, it should be phase. They close this one out. The first two kills go in their favor. Dust2 looking very, very likely at this stage. A dreadful position, but could be taken down. It's a little bit scrappy, but here comes the cavalry. Bombs down. Shazam with the Galil. And it's just a matter of time, I think, at this stage. As Shazam, four versus one. And that's going to be it. Second map goes in favor of FaZe. Still not the level we expect from them. It's still looking a little bit clumsy, but they close this one out. We move on to Dust 2. That really excites me here, Matt. Anything could happen. It's wide open at this stage. Complexity looked like they're on. FaZe are warming up. It's a great map to cast when you've got so much skill on the server. It really sets the scene for the third and final map.